Right then, ignore all this. That's uh, the diesel pumps packed in. Uh, I'll do more of that in another video. Um, the other problem I got before the MOT is this little ABS light doesn't go out over here. Um, so we need to deal with that. So there's our connection. We're going to check that now with the meter. So we've got this set to 2000 ohms, so it checks resistance. And this should read about 16 to 1800. But this one, all I'm doing is putting it on the pins, and we've got a total open circuit. So there's a wire broke or something somewhere. So we'll just strip it out. Right, I've done a video on this before when I did the uh, passenger side. And what I did is I used a rear uh, ABS sensor because on a bongo, these are 190 quid a side up front, um, 30 quid a side at the back, so which is why I've modified them. So you can see the whole process for that one there. I'll post a link. Uh, but now from the Facebook forums, so if you've got a bongo, get on the Facebook forums because they're great. Uh, this is a new way of doing it, and this is off a of Deu Nexia. Now, I don't like these connections. You've got to cut it down there to split it to get it in, but we'll give it a go. This option is uh, 15 quid after you've bought all the bits. My current kind of gut feeling is I prefer to use a back one because it's simpler. Uh, but let's see how it goes. Right, that there is our ABS ring. Our sensor is, it's a bit hard to point it out to you, is that there. They swell and get stuck in, so it's a hammer and chisel to get that out. And there's two bolts on the cable to undo, and then that whole piece will come out. Don't just hate doing that happens. That's made a difficult job harder. Right, under that boat there, under the one up there, take the wire out, uh, and then at least take this into the garage to get it all soldered up. There's our old cable. Now we've got that off, we can come back into the comfort of the shed. And what we're going to do is we're going to strip some of this wire off, uh, and then we're going to solder it onto these tables here and then connect it all back together. So we want to leave as much of this wire on here as possible. Um, so what I'm going to do is just check the continuity. So I'm going to pick a pin here. So let's get them on there. And then tap it on the end of these wires, so look. Yeah, so that wire is good. Now we do the other one. This is just awkward. Yeah. So we know those wires are good. So we keep as much as possible so we can put the whole thing back on and just solder these bits. My favorite tool. If I can get it to work. Right then, for this to work, this is the tail that goes in there, but if you can see it, those pins are too far apart, so I've got to cut it down there and bend those apart and try to get it in. Okay. 
There you are, that's connected. Now the bongo ones are uh, normally higher resistance than that, they're about 1.6 to 1.8, but apparently this works. So I'll put a bit of sealant on there so it stays in and we'll get this soldered together. Shrink shield. This is my dad's old solder gun. We've got some flex. Just like I'm not good at welding, I'm not good at soldering either. There you go. Right, so to test this, I've just hooked it up. And I've just got it floating here on the radiator. So that's that all made. Right then. ABS light on. Yeah, <laughs> fixed. Just got to get it off the hub and get it fitted. And that's another job off the list. <laughs> Finally, after hammering and chiseling, it is out, and this is why you can't get second-hand plumbing sensors. They rot in there, and they're bugger to get out. There's all the copper from inside it. I'll chuck that in my copper melting pile. So, let's show you up here. All right, so there we are. He is out. So, we'll get that cleaned up and greased up, and then tap the new one in. So that's the new one fitted. I had to take a little bit of sandpaper to it and thin it down a little bit because it wouldn't go in and then give it a couple of love taps with a Persuader Tron. But that's in. Seems to look good to the lineup. Let's uh, check inside the van. Yes. Right, so it's not a bad job actually for 15 quid. It's in, it works, it took a bit of fettle in, but uh, you know, 15 quid fix better than 190 quid, isn't it? So, um, I can't drive the van yet because I've got to fix all this. Uh, I'm waiting for a new diesel pump to arrive. Once that's done, I'll take this for a test drive and report back on how that works. But for fitting, not too bad. Right, on to the next job. Cheers guys, take it easy.